I look like the dark witch from hell with this damn headband and this makeup on. But guess what? Y'all gonna have to do it again. Nah, I gotta take this off. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Hey Paris here. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with my voice? <laughs> Excuse me. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Hey Paris here, and we're back at it again with another story time. And this story time is basically one of the weirdest, stupidest, most ridiculous nights at the club that I've ever dealt with before in my life. And by the title of this video, you already know it's about to go down, okay? It's not good. I'm not happy about it, but I'm gonna tell you the story regardless, okay? And let's just get right into the story. This is not a long story, unfortunately. I'm gonna try and make this be less than 10 minutes, but anytime I say that, it ends up being 15 or 20 minutes. So you know what, I'm just gonna shut my lip and tell the damn story, okay? So basically, it was my friend's birthday, and we are gonna call this friend, so we are going to call her Dora. Why, why am I gonna call the girl Dora? I'm Dora, apparently. But we're gonna call this girl Dora. See, I would use her real name, but me and her aren't friends like that no more, and I'm not trying to reach out to her and be like, hey, I'm telling the story about the time, blah, 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 blah. Can I use your name? Forget that. I'm gonna just call you Dora, okay, Dora? Dora? Okay, so, <clears throat> Dora was having a birthday get-together. She would, like, invite all these people. She said she's gonna get a booth at the club. She gonna have fun. We gonna turn up, whatever, whatever. She invited me. I was like, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Her birthday was in December, so you already know. It was cold as hell outside, and I'm about to be up in no club in no long jaws and turtlenecks and none of that. Still gotta look cute, okay? It's cold outside, but I'm still looking like a daddy because a hoe never gets cold. So the day of her birthday comes and she's like, okay, everyone meet up at blah, 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 super, 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 whatever at her house, okay? Why well, I'm saying blah, blah, super, super. Everybody meet up at her house. So, um, honestly, to be honest, I just wasn't feeling it no more. I was like, it's too cold outside. I don't feel like getting drunk. I don't feel like turning up. I don't feel like being cold, waiting outside in the line and being cold. I'm not down for it. So I'm about to just cancel on her. I'm just going to tell her I cannot make it. So, you know, boop, boop, call up. What's her name? What I call her? Dora. I'm like, yo, Dora, what's up? You know, happy birthday or whatever. But I ain't trying to come through right now. I'm sorry. It's cold outside. You have to celebrate by yourself or with your other friends. Okay? Dora gets on the other line when I'm talking to her and I hear, you too? I was like, damn! Everyone flopped on Dora. Everyone who said they were coming to Dora's party, they ain't show up or they called and they said they can't make it no more. So she's like, talking to me on the phone, she's basically telling me everyone canceled on her, everyone's talking about how it's too cold outside and she's so sad because it's her birthday, whatever, whatever. I was like, girl, come to my house, let's let's turn up, just me and you, but let's stay inside because I ain't trying to go to the club. And she's talking about how she put a down payment on a booth, $100 on a booth and she's supposed to be like, $400 when she gets there and the $100 that she paid down for the booth is non-refundable and da 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 whatever okay so I'm like damn girl I'm sorry you, you you had to go through that but I ain't about to be in no booth with just me and you at the club it's a waste of money she bought I think three bottles I think she said two or three bottles no girl that's a waste of money might as well just give them the hundred dollars let them keep that because me and you cannot finish three or two bottles at the club it's just not gonna happen that's alcohol poisoning waiting to happen so you know I said girl just come on over just come on over and me, you can turn up for your birthday. We'll have fun. I promise you. Because when I'm lit, it doesn't matter where we are, what we doing, we're going to have fun as long as I'm lit. So, you know, I was, I was, I was telling her, we're going to have fun. Don't worry about it. So, she came over to my house now. And she was wearing her little birthday suit or whatever. You know, I wasn't going to be like, girl, you can't be wearing that up in my house. You're looking cute. You're looking sexy. You're looking provocative or whatever. But it's your birthday so you could wear and dress and do whatever you want to do. So, you know what? She was looking cute up in my house. We didn't want to, to, to see what she looked like except for me. But I appreciate a beautiful girl with a beautiful body. So, I was like, do your thing. Do your thing. So, anyways, we start drinking up, drinking up. I done bought bottles because I thought I was going. But then I was like, yeah, it's cold outside. I ain't going no more. 
but still have the bottles there. So we throw them back shots. We throw them back shots. Shots at the shots at the shots at the shots at the shots. Shots, 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 shots. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a drinker now, but back then I was a dranker with an A. D-R-A-N-K-E-R, -E okay? I was a dranker, okay? So, you know, we throw them back shots. After shots, we ain't giving ourselves no time to rest, breathe, or nothing. So, by the time I blink, I'm drunk as hell. I am, t I'm beyond tipsy. I am turned up. I'm turned all the way up. All the way. I was turned. She was turned too. And she just starts getting mad emotional. Dora's talking about my mother didn't say happy birthday to me. My boyfriend all flopped on me to go to the club. Don't nobody love me. Don't nobody care about me. All I wanted to do was go to the club and turn up for my birthday. Nobody was down. Like, nobody got me. I'm so depressed. I'm so sad. Like, nobody loves me. I'm like, girl, come here. Give, give me a hug. Come give me a hug. Is, is this not true? I'm like, girl, listen. If you want to go to the club, if it's that important to you to go turn up at the club, it is only 10 o'clock. We got time to go to the club. I'm going to put on my, my club gear, okay? I'm going to look just as sexy as you, and we going to the club. You ready to go? You want to go to the club? If you want to go to the club, say hey! Okay, so we ended up going to the club. We didn't go to the club that she originally wanted to go to, the club that she put the down payment on for the booth. We didn't go to that club because it was packed, and um, if we were to get the booth, when I say it was packed, the line was long as hell. And if we were to get the booth, she would have to pay the extra $400, $500 to get the booth. And it was just not worth the money. You might as well lose $100 rather than waste $600 or $500 or whatever the case may have been back then, okay? You might as well just lose $100 and have fun somewhere else, okay? So we walked up to the club she was originally going to go to. The line was from here to Montego Bay, Jamaica, okay? We had no time. I said, girl, by the time we get in that club, it's going to be 3 o'clock and the club going to be done so let's go find another club to go to so we go to another club now and we in line we stayed in line for maybe like 15 minutes the line wasn't that long but it was moving slow and we get up to the front now i'm showing the man my id and he's talking about 60 dollars to get in 60 dollars to get into where am i go what, what is going on inside of there where i have to pay 60 dollars to party what is you talking about my man Jason Derulo is a guesting or is the guest star in the club. Jason Dehudo? Ain't nobody listening to Jason Derulo. I'm not here for Jason Derulo. I'm here to turn up. Who the hell listens to Jason Derulo? Not me? The hell? I'm not about to be paying $60 to be partying with Jason Derulo. Don't nobody care about Jason Derulo? The hell? Jason Dehudo. Jason Dehudo, yo. It ain't happening. Not sixty dollars to see who. No. So I'm like, eh, bye. No, no, bye. Not trying to see you. Like, bye. I'll find somewhere else to party. I'm sorry. I get mad, like passionate about that shit because who the hell is Jason Derulo? Who? If you listen to Jason Derulo, if you have Jason Derulo's album on your phone or you have any song of him, even if it's featuring Jason Derulo, you need all your toenails plucked out of your nail bed of your of your foot. Cause who is Jason Derulo? Really? The nigga who cheated on Jordan Sparks? We don't support that. We don't support that. Anyways, so, <clears throat> I apologize. I'm very like this today. This is how I feel inside my body. I feel like this, okay? Anyway, we go walk into another club and this club, like, there's no line, no nothing, but we see there's like a bunch of people inside and I'm hearing like loud house music. Like, and I was like, house music is not my cup of tea, but you know, it's getting late. Let's just go inside. Let's turn up and have as much fun as we can have. So we hopped up in there. It was ladies free before 11. <laughs> Ow! So, you know, we was in there like swimwear, okay? So anyways, we got there like 11.30 and we just told the bouncer, we're like, listen, okay? You get us in there, we gonna have that club popping. We gonna have it bouncing, like, for real. And the bouncer didn't care. He just let us go in, even though it was ladies before 11, free before 11. It was 11.30, he said, go on in. I said, my nigga, my nigga, <laughs> peace out. So we already drunk, but we still pouring shots in the club. I asked the bartender, can I get two shots, please? I had a $100 bill. Listen to this little story right here. I had a $100 bill, okay? I gave the lady a $100 bill. I asked for two shots of Grey Goose. This lady came back and gave me $5 change. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. 
Two shots of Grey Goose is $45 each? Is that is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't even know how to do math, but I'm just going to assume. $45 each? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? I give you a $100 bill, and you give me $5 back? I said, bitch, I might be drunk, but I ain't stupid. Where my money at? Where my money at? I was like, hello, hi. I gave you $100. Why? Why are you bringing me back $5? What am I supposed to do with this $5 bill? You let me know. I sobered up real quick. You know, if any type of situation happens where I need to be serious, I sober up like this. There ain't no alcohol in my system no more. I said, bitch, where my money at, bitch? She's like, oh, my mistake. One second. Goes and gives me back the rest of my change. And then she goes over to her little co-worker, and they're there giggling. Like, you probably do this on a daily. You probably finesse all these drunk bitches on a daily. You probably take their $100 bills, give them their juice, and walk away and keep the change for yourself. Talking about that was a tip. That was no tip, bitch. Here's a tip. You try to mess with me, I'm going to mess up your face. I'm being dead ass serious. Don't ever. Mess with me and my monies. My, nope. I was not having it. I was ready to jump over the bar and kick her. Mm -hmm. You know what? We going we gonna to behave ourselves today in this ceremony, okay? Ceremony of what, Paris? Anywho, continuing with the story now, okay? So I'm like, I'm not buying no more shots because these bartenders are finessing every single drunk person up in this bitch. And I'm, I'm, I'm about to be drunker because this man came up to me and Dora and he was like, hey, I got a booth, y'all come through, come through. And I was like, well, I don't want to use my own money, so I'm coming through, I'm coming through. So we get to his, his booth now and there's about nine guys there and one girl who's passed out. And I'm like, this is odd, but you know, they got like four bottles of liquor, <laughs> drink it up, pour it up. But she was sleeping in the club. How you sleeping in the club? Somebody must have dropped something in her juice because how you sleeping at the club? The music loud as hell but anywho um this is like a club that i've never experienced before everyone around us was drunk or on some kind of narcotics because you could just see it in their eyes like their pupil like you could just tell that something is wrong with them and sometimes you could tell who's drunk away from who's doing some next level shit and i was just like this is this is like a rave or some shit but i ain't never been to a rave so i don't know what a rave is like but i just felt like a rave vibe like i felt like everyone was on lsd or some shit anywho everywhere we're looking there's just people doing some weird crazy shit people dancing on the floor trying to break dance but they're really just walking on nothing like it's the weirdest shit i wish i could explain it to y'all but just weird people doing weird shit all over us okay not all over us all, all around us my goodness anyway we drunk as hell at this point and you know you be drinking you be drinking you need a pee so you know me and my girl were like i'm like i need a pee she's like you want it you need a pee i'm like i need a pee you need a pee you need a pee i need a pee let's go pee okay so you know we holding hands like girls doing the club walking to the club i mean walking to the club walking to the washroom ready to go take a little tinkle she goes in her stall i go into mine my stall door is broken like the um the hatchet part where it's supposed to hold like this is like, you see how it goes like this and then it, it latches? This part wasn't there, so it was only the thing where you move like that. So I'm like, you know what, I'm not about to wait for nobody. I'm just going to hold the door like this and, and piss like this. But, you know, you, you, you should not be sitting on public toilets. Ew! I didn't want to say public toilets. But you should not be sitting on public toilets. That's disgusting. So I'm just crouching over, you know, taking a little... A little whiz or whatever. Well, I was about to take a little whiz until some girl with a bright neon pink hair pushes my 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 stall door open, and I'm looking at her like, um, someone's in here trying to push her back out. She tried to push back in. I pushed the door like this, and she falls back. Like I guess she was drunk, high, whatever the case may be. But she falls back. I can see her on the floor under the the stall because I'm still in the stall trying to take a whiz. And I see her on the floor, and she has both of her hands on the floor, and she just throws up everywhere like everywhere and again sober up because i'm like if any of this girl's vomit touches my foot my foot is going in her mouth i don't care if she's drunk or not control yourself drink responsibly okay i should not have vomit on my foot because you don't know what you took yeah, why do I always gotta rhyme? I'm so annoying. Anyways, um, so I'm holding the door. I finally take my little piss. I get up. I'm waiting for my girl to come out of the, the washroom stall. So I'm just standing up near the, the sinks or whatever. And a girl comes next to me and she's like, ooh, 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 ooh. and I'm just looking at her like, this, this is a washroom. I just got out that stall. If you need a piss, the toilet's right over there. That's all, that's what I'm thinking in my head. I ain't saying nothing to the bitch. But in my head, I'm like, listen, 
You need to go tinkle. The toilet's right there, honey. But I guess she needed to pee so bad that she couldn't move. But how the hell did you walk all the way here? You could walk a few more steps into the washroom, okay? So, I'm not paying her any mind anymore, but she's literally, like, right, right beside me because the washroom is full. She's right, right beside me. I'm standing up like this, waiting for my friend to come out the washroom stall. Actually, at this point, my friend was washing her hand, like, washing her hand, like, at a further down, um sink because the rest of them were taken so I'm just standing there waiting for her and I feel something warm liquefied and wet on my toes on my toes y'all <clears throat> so I'm so drunk at this point that I'm not I can feel my my toes getting wet and warm but i'm so drunk that my my mind is so far gone i'm not taking in what's happening until this girl turns to me and she goes i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i said so sorry for what in my mind i look down at my toes and i'm like yeah my toes are wet so what what happened like someone spilled some warm water after washing their hands or something i'm like whatever i look at her now i look at this bitch now and this bitch her entire legs is wet. The whole there's a puddle of piss on, on on the floor beneath her. I'm like this nasty ass bitch. Like you was really nasty. You really just pissed on yourself in the club. Is it for real? And now when I'm drunk, I'm either super nice and super super kind, or I'm a bitch. Okay. This situation happened, and I wasn't like. Oh, yeah, it's okay that you just pissed on my foot. That's okay. Have a nice night. No, bitch. I said, listen, you little hoe. You better go and get a, a, a paper towel right now and wipe my toes off. Right? I'm counting to five. One. Two. I counted down. This bitch started running for the paper towel, okay? I was going to do nothing to her. I was going to be her ass. Y'all already know I don't like confrontation. I was just drunk and in the moment, but I said, one. Two. Like I was a Jamaican mother ready to beat her daughter for coming home late after a party or something. Like, I, I, one, two, three, okay, counting to five. This bitch ran so fast across the room to get the paper towel, and she wiped up my toes for me. She didn't wipe it up properly because she drunk, you know what I'm saying? But she wiped my toes up for me. And I was like, thank you. It's kind of rude, but you know I was drunk. What you want me to do? I don't know what you want me to do. It's drunk. Okay? Her friends come by. They're like, oh my gosh, Jessica. I can't believe you peed on yourself. That's so gross. Oh my gosh. I don't think her name was Jessica, but that's how her friends were talking. J Jessica, oh my god. That's how they were talking. So, one of her friends were like, did you really just wipe that girl's feet off? I was like, yes, she did. You want to wipe the other one? She got a problem? Because if you do, I'm going to bring you a problem. Like, I turned into a real hood bitch. I was Cardi B that day. I was Cardi B and I didn't know who Cardi B was back then. But I was I was real hood that day. Like, I don't know, the, the liquor kind of amped me up, you know what I'm saying? So, I was no longer about this night. We had enough fun. I was ready to go home. But before we go home, I was trying to steal a liquor bottle from this guy's booth because he had so many. I knew he was going to finish it. The club going to end soon. So I took a Hennessy bottle. I tried to put it up my dress on the side right here and try to hold it on the side. I'm walking out like this, you know, trying to lead the club or whatever. Security's like, Holt, you ain't going nowhere, bitch. Give me the Hennessy bottle. Thank you. I was like, oh. There you go, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna argue. Have a nice day, sir. Went home, took a what felt like a two hour shower, and went to bed. I didn't feel comfortable being in the club. I knew that under my toes I had piss on it, threw away those shoes, took a shower, uh, went to bed upset and mad. Dora was drunk as hell, fell asleep in my, in my, in my room, and that's the end of that. The end, <laughs> okay. Leave a comment down below and let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you before. I'd love to hear your story, like someone vomited. Oh, let me also say that the girl who vomited on the floor, she was laying in her vomit. Even up to the time the girl pissed on my foot, she was laying in her vomit, like face in her vomit, passed out. Nobody was like, I don't know where her friends were. She was just laying in the vomit, disgusting. I hope she's okay. You know what I'm saying? But damn, like that, I don't ever get that drunk, y'all. Know your limits, okay? Know your limits. I'm just saying. So anyways, follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All that jazz is in the description box down below for your convenience. Thank you guys so much for watching today's story time. More videos coming at you this week. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys so, so much. Don't gotta tell you twice. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, guys.
I, why was I so hyped? I'm a good girl. 